Hello, subscribers and passer buyers. My name is Atheris, and welcome back to another episode of Summerland. Now, we had to, um, we found out that we were crooked. We were burning evidence, and that a lot of things were happening um, that were not agreeable, but as, in a different sense, they, they sort of kind of was. I'm sorry if I'm a little bit scatterbrained right now, but uh, the guy on the phone had said that I have to do another question. So this is going to be fun. Another morality question for us uh, together and to figure out which um, is the right or wrong answer. I don't think it's any secret that people act on instinct, at least partially. What's a bit more divisive is what those instincts are exactly. Some would argue that, by nature, the human race cares about survival and protecting what's close to them. They want to ensure that their lives are protected and lived to the fullest. In mm -hmm. short, they believe that people are inherently selfish. On the other hand, some people believe that people will naturally disregard their own wants and desires for the betterment of a larger community. People would rather benefit the world as a whole rather than benefit themselves. In short, not selfish. So what do you think? Are people inherently selfish by nature or no? Once you answer, head back through the door to your next trial. See, this I already know the answer to. Um, I think that... Uh, selfishness is shown in like um, different animal species such as like great apes you know monkeys and things like that they are descended from us if you believe in evolution um, and they're the closest relative that we have to us um, they are inherently selfish like no matter what and I think that, that humans uh, are selfish but they learn to become selfless based off of morality so Whoop. We're going to go ahead and pick selfish. People are selfish. That's how the world works. I mean, everyone's greedy to some extent. Now we're going to go ahead and go to our next trial. We're almost getting to the end of the game here. And I'm kind of excited to see what happens. Well, this is an area. It's really dark. So this is Charlie's place. Why is it so small? I know I cleaned at least 100k from the laundromat. Where's all of that money going? Hmm. Not to Whatever. Him. I need to get what I came here for. That I'm money. Stay quiet, though. No! I have a gun? That's not good. I'm here. I... Am I just gonna hold him up again, point, or am I actually gonna murder him? Charlie's asleep in there. I need to be quiet. So I guess I'll just. This has to be where he keeps the money. I need to find a way to break into it. Yeah, I I know. So there's nothing on that picture. Um, there's got to be something here. What is this? Oh, Charlie. Sam, enclosed into this envelope is some extra money for Beverly. I know you've got enough to get her everything she needs, but maybe treat her something something nice. She deserves it, and hey, I know you don't want me to, but could you please reconsider letting me see her? Oh, okay, so there's something going on for Charlie. Um, I know what I know what I do isn't best for her, but it's all I've got now. I just want to see her for a bit blah 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 so this is basically as he's probably going through a divorce himself whoa that was quite the lag um so he's going to through divorce himself and i think he's giving the money for his kid and i think that's understandable there's some stuff here smokes um remote and a newspaper i'm not going to turn on the television we need to find something. I don't exactly know where I need to find it. Ooh, I could hammer. use this to jam a wedge into the safe. I could Just do that. Need something to use as a wedge. Um. Maybe there's something in the kitchen. Maybe I can use a knife. No. Not a spoon. Hmm. Ah, 
Screwdriver. There we go. We should be able to open the safe with these. I'm taking your safe, buddy. Taking okay. your safe, Charlie. Right now. And there. God, this is more than enough. All right. I can get my medicine and let's get out of here. I'm not leaving you just yet, Joey. I just want to shoot you. We good? Wait. Hold on. Oh, shit. I'm so uh -oh. stupid. He's going to trace this back to me. He knows where I live and shit. He knows about Joseph. What am I doing? I shouldn't have done this. I can't go back. The safe is already broken and my prints are all over it. Okay, okay. Calm down. You can handle this. Mm -hmm. I can't let him follow me. I know what I have to do. Yep, I can you're gonna do have this. To... I have to do this. Come on. For Joseph. Oh no! <laughs> oh no. I knew I I knew I was gonna have to to shoot him. But, like, the music started getting scary. I was like, oh, no. Is he going to wake up? He's going to grab my gun? And is he going to, like, kill me instead? And is that why I'm dead Is and being judged? Or, you know, I, I have no exact, I have no idea what exactly, uh, why I'm dead, actually, or why I'm being judged. I mean, granted, I'm being judged on my life events, but I don't know what got up from there, you know? You know what? I just don't get it. I don't understand you because you're everything I've ever gone against and everything points to you being an awful person, but I don't know. I mean, for God's sakes, you just killed that guy. You mm -hmm. killed him, but you were protecting your son. Or were you just protecting yourself? Yeah, that's a question. How much of what you're doing is wanting to be sure you stay alive for your son, and how much is you just not wanting to die? Is he just some justification for you, or do you actually care? I mean, given that you're here talking to me, obviously things didn't work out too well, did they? You've been tampering with crime scenes, you completely betrayed the trust of someone who looked up to you. I don't understand you. The thing is, I have no idea what your motives are. Well, I know what you think your motives are, but that doesn't mean anything. Maybe I've been doing this wrong all along. Not just with you, but... I never cared about motive, I never cared about the other people in everyone's life. Bad people were bad people. Now you've come along to mess everything up! Let me ask you something. Do you think this is real? No, really. Do you think I'm real? Yes. Why don't you just make me say what you want already? I just... I don't get you at all. I don't know. You have one more trial. I suggest you get a move on. All right, all right, all right. One more trial. All right. I need to get everything ready. Food, water, Oop, I turned keys. off the lights. My backpack should be upstairs. So food, water, keys, and a backpack upstairs. So I need to grab the backpack, I think, first. I don't like that blue screen. It's creepy. I can't even see anything. I need to grab my backpack before I grab my other supplies. It yeah. should be upstairs. Is this is my backpack. Okay, okay. I need to get the supplies. Okay, so now I think I get food from the kitchen, right? No? Yeah? What is that? A magazine? Food. Fridge? No, I don't have any food in the fridge, really? Is this 
some eerie music. Go down in the basement. Maybe have some canned food or canned goods in the basement. Yeah. All right. Okay, good. This will be enough for a few weeks. Okay. Let's continue. So I have food, water, my backpack, and I just need to get the kiddo. And my keys, I think. Right? I think so. Get the kiddo. It's okay, buddy. We're gonna find somewhere safe. It's okay, okay. buddy. We're gonna find somewhere safe. He said food, water, his keys? Where are his keys? We kind of need that really creepy blue blue light. And I can't see anything because everything's super dark. There we go. Turn on the lights, dummy. I'm just calling myself dumb because I didn't even... Turn on the lights. I'm doing a bunch of stuff. I'm turning on the lights everywhere. No? Okay. I guess I can't put on the lights there. Nope. No lights. Hmm. That already has a light. There's gotta be a light in here somewhere. Because it's too dark. There we go. Now my keys. I need to find my keys. Not the piano keys. What am I thinking? Oh, my actual keys. Here we go. I'll take the cruiser. No one would suspect an officer. Plus, I can blend in if they find me. Yeah. Okay. That's everything. I need to get Joey. Let's get the kiddo. Hey, little guy. Come on, let's go. Go now, okay? Yep. We'll find somewhere else, though. We'll live happily for as long as we can. Somewhere quiet. Okay, it's time to go. I really thought someone was going to pop out and try to, like, detain me and arrest me and all that. At least with the music that was going on, it was kind of creepy. Okay. It was freaking me out! So we can drive through the Freaking night. me out. I'll find a motel somewhere tomorrow. We can't stay long. We gotta stay on the move. Don't they have GPS systems hey, in buddy. like police <laughs> officer a good cars? Nap? <laughs> Everything's okay, little guy. Oh, maybe it's not a We're police officer find a new car. Home. I don't exactly know what this is. What's going on? No, no, no. Shit. Okay, okay. It's okay. Hold on, buddy. <laughs> No! No! Not now! I'm out of pills! Damn it! I need pills! Uh oh. I have a gun in my hand. Jo Joseph! I need to get Joseph. He's on the other side. Get him. Come on, buddy. Let's get out of here. Do, is it, do I have to go back in? No. <laughs> I guess I'll just continue to walk. Oh, 
I can't. Matthew. What did you do? Please. I just want Matthew, to... put the gun down. Please. Stay me... down, Matthew. I just... Let me take... My put son... Put the gun down and surrender. How did I die? Did I shoot myself? Did somebody shoot me? Uh, I'm sorry, Matthew. Really. This isn't how it should have ended for you. It's respectable that you took action, though, and I mean that. The funny thing, though, I... I still don't know what to do with you. Maybe this is all more subjective than I thought. Did your actions matter? Did your motives? What were your motives? Honestly, why is anything bad in the first place? Who even decided that? I don't know. It doesn't make much sense. Maybe you're bad, maybe you're not. I just... I don't know. You know what? I said I only had one more question, but this one's important. Step outside. I've got one more trial for you. Oh, and before I forget, the question I asked before. I think I'm as real as you want me to be. I don't even know what that means, but okay. This is it, I think. This is going to be the end of it. This is the last, last bit of Summerland. Well, I really thought that, man, this game is just, it's too much. Look, I just can't decide what to do with you. Your actions are just uh, polarized. So I decided I'd let you make the decision. Now, I want you to think very carefully about how you answer this. Really consider what this means. All I have to ask is, do you think you're a good person? Take your time to answer the question, then head back through the door. Was Matthew a good person? He was trying to protect his son. And I mean, I think most of us would protect anybody that we love and hold dear to. But the actions that he had done weren't okay in social standards. I mean, he did commit murder and fraud. But it was to save his kid. So I'm going to say yes. Okay. I understand. Head back to the door. That kind of scared me a little bit. You've made me think a lot, you know that? Really, I'm... I'm honestly glad to have met you. And I know, it's scary. You have no way of knowing what's through that door, and honestly, neither do I. I know just as much as you do, and as much as we've gone through, I still don't know what you deserve. Maybe things are too subjective to ever really tell. All I know is that you're gonna go through a change in a few seconds. And no matter what it is, it'll be okay. Good or bad, you'll be okay. Good luck with whatever comes next. Goodbye, Matthew. I guess I'll just shut the door.
Wow, this game, it's, it was really good, really good, it was almost sad, it was somber, and it was like, you know, I, I really put myself in the character's shoes, and the narrative of the entire game was something that a lot of games don't really have anymore, I mean, they had excellent voice acting, they really conveyed their feelings and how they felt in this game. Um, and the dilemmas, the moral dilemmas between the questions and understanding as a character going through someone's life like that. It all, it all coming to a crashing end in that, you know, somewhere after you end up passing away, you might be judged on what you do and your current actions right now. And I think that's, that's a point of view that a lot of people don't really think about. Hi, this is Connor. I just wanted to briefly thank you for playing my passion project. I do truly appreciate you taking the time to experience what I've been working so hard to create and wouldn't be possible without players like you supporting me throughout. It's been a genuinely incredible experience being able to talk directly with you, take feedback, and create a real community around what I do. I truly hope that I can keep making more projects in the futures, games, or otherwise, and keep making you all proud. Until next time, thank you so much, and I hope to see you soon. Yeah, Connor, that was, that was really, that was really good. Really good game. And that's it. That's the end of the series. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.